Hi guys, it's Jenny. Welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I just wanted to sit down, do my makeup and talk, basically. Um, I didn't really know what else to film and I thought I haven't done one of these in quite a while, so why not do one of these? I wanted to keep it really, really casual, so I literally just have a hoodie on. This is my 1975 hoodie. My favourite hoodie that I own. Um, it's absolutely freezing right now in my room so that's why i've got this on so yeah let's just get on with this video i don't i kind of have an idea of what i want to do um but i've never done it before so let's see how this makeup turns out so yeah if you like these videos and you want me to do more then give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel down below and yeah let's just crack on with this video shall we so i'm kind of just gonna do like the makeup that I've been doing a lot recently um, so I guess it's kind of like my everyday makeup um, for like the base anyway um, but I might use some products that I haven't used in quite a while because I tend to use the same things whenever I do my makeup and I have a lot of makeup that I need to use you know so I'm gonna start off with my eyebrows. I never normally do my eyebrows on camera just because I literally use the same thing every single time I do it, which is the NYX Tame and Frame Brow Pomade. I don't really have like a set way that I fill my eyebrows in. Um, I kind of, I guess I like start on the bottom. Um, and then I'll just flick it up in the front and just fill in the rest basically. This eyebrow is definitely my worst one. Like, for sure, it's the tail. I just can never get it right. Okay, now that I've done that, I'm gonna get on to priming my face. I have been using this a lot recently, which is the Eucerin, Eur Eucerin? even brighter day cream. It looks like that. Um, I don't know how you pronounce that, maybe you will, but it's basically just a moisturiser and I've just been putting it um, on my face to like prime it because it kind of has like a bit of a glow to it and I don't know because we're getting into winter now it's been very very cold here where I live um, so yeah always nice to give it my face a bit of extra moisture then I'm gonna use the NYX pore thimmer, thimmer? <laughs> pore filler I literally use this every single time that I use my makeup because I really really like it I think it's a really good primer um, so yeah I just use it mainly around my nose and my cheeks and then I'll put some on my chin and forehead. Okay, now for foundation. I'm going to be using this one, which is the Rimmel Lasting Finish Breathable Foundation. I have been absolutely loving this recently. It's just like one of my favourite foundations right now, which is so weird because it's not like a full coverage foundation which is what i usually go for it's more of like a light to medium one you can definitely build it up um but i think what i like the most about it is the applicator it's like a big concealer which is i don't know i just think it's really cool um so it makes it really really easy to apply i just kind of apply it over my face and then I'm going to blend it out using this, which is the Spectrum B01 brush. Um, I've been liking this a lot recently for foundation. I have to make sure that I blend it down my neck really well. Because it is slightly too dark for me, but only slightly so it's okay okay so i'm gonna run through this quite quickly until we get to the eye makeup because it's literally all the same um but i'm just using the collection concealer under my eyes same one that i literally always use i really need to get another concealer and then for my face concealer i use the maybelline fit me 
just dab this on where I need it and then to blend it in I use this brush which is the Spectrum CO2 brush I think it's actually meant to be used for contour but I really like it for concealer because it's like super dense so I just kind of like tap it into my face then to set it I'm just going to use Rimmel Stay Matte of course what other powder do I use I'm just going to set my eyebrows using the NYX that was in French Tinted Brow Mascara right now for bronzer I'm going to take the 17 Define and Conquer contour kit and I'm going to use the uh, bronzer shade from that um, I've really been liking this recently just getting kind of a bit bored I guess of my Too Faced one so I've been reaching for this however I'm not sure if it's a bit too like dark for me I don't know I have to just keep it to a minimum I'm gonna be honest not really the best at doing these like chatty get ready with me videos because I never know what to talk about like I feel like I have a lot of stuff to talk about and then I turn on my camera and start filming and I just I don't know I can't think of anything to talk about um let's move on to blush so I'm gonna use hmm I'm gonna actually take this makeup revolution palette this is the ultra blush palette in golden sugar oh dug my nail in one of the shades looks like this I haven't used this in ages um I used to use it all the time but yeah I never really reach for it anymore but I'm gonna take that shade right there which is the blush shade and just pop it on my cheeks um I'm also gonna take a bit of the shade next to it and just put a bit on top cute I like that then for highlight I'm actually gonna take the one from the same palette which is that one there which I actually love this highlight it's a really really good highlight not that I really need any because that blush was like a highlight anyway but oh well can never have too much highlight you know and for once you can actually see the highlight that is magical right let's get onto the eyes and let's actually get chatting because I haven't said anything um, for my eyes I'm gonna use the Colourpop yes please palette I did a video reviewing this palette for the first time and then I also did a video um, where I created a look it was like a yellow cut crease using this so I will link both of those on the screen if you want to check them out um, so yeah to set my eyes I'm first gonna take this shade which is bling I think I'm pretty sure which is a funny name for that because it's literally just like a cream shade like a all over lid shade so what has everybody been up to um what did we just have Halloween just had Halloween well not just had it was a couple weeks ago now so yeah I love Halloween it's probably like one of my favourite times of the year. Um, so for Halloween, I went out on the Saturday night before because that's kind of when a lot of clubs will do like their Halloween thing because Halloween was on a Tuesday this year. So yeah, there weren't really, I don't know if any of the clubs were open then. I don't know, but I don't know of anybody who went out on Halloween. Um, but yeah, so I went out with a load of my friends on the Saturday night and that was really really fun I really enjoyed it I went I kind of like changed my mind for Halloween um oh by the way I'm gonna take chauffeur which is the brown shade just there um just for my crease um but yeah I had like well basically me and Lewis knew that we wanted to do like a couple's costume um and we had like a set idea from the start that we were gonna go as 
Day of the Dead or like Sugar Skulls. Um, and we were like set on that for so long and then it was literally a few days before we both kind of like changed our minds on the idea and went off it. So Lewis, actually no, Lewis did go as a Sugar Skull. I went as a skull but it wasn't like a sugar skull um, I'll insert a picture here of what we ended up looking like but I was really happy with mine I really liked it I thought Lewis looked really cool my friend Bonnie actually did his makeup because basically it was stressful getting ready um, we all got ready at Lewis's house it was me Lewis obviously Bonnie and our friend Ben getting ready um, together at Lewis's house and I for some reason agreed to do everybody's makeup which you know I was really excited about before but when I actually started doing it um, I was getting a bit stressed <laughs> that I wasn't going to be ready we started getting ready at maybe like eight o'clock and we're going to get into town for like pre's at like half ten um, so that left like two and a half hours, two hours let's say, to get ready, um, which is fine normally if it's just me, but I had to do four people's makeup, um, so it got a bit stressful, um, I ended up doing like, I did like Ben's makeup first, which was really easy, it was just a bit of like eyeshadow on his face, um, then I had to do Bonnie's, <laughs> uh, I had to do like her eyeshadow, so not all of it, but just her eyeshadow, um, and then... I started to do mine because I was getting stressed that I wouldn't have time to do mine um, because I'd never practiced mine before and it was really like intricate and detailed so yeah um, I'm just gonna take French Kiss by the way which is the yellow shade um, so yeah I was a bit stressed that night so Bonnie very kindly stepped in and said that she would do Lewis's makeup um, so thank you Bonnie for doing that because I don't know what I would have done. I don't think I would have been finished. <laughs> um, I probably would have gone out with no makeup on which I didn't really want to do. But yeah the night was just like it was so much fun. We had a bit of a nightmare though with um, our taxi. Like oh my god it was just an absolute nightmare. We basically we ordered one and um basically when you ring up and order one now our taxi center has it like as an automated system which i'm sure a lot of taxis do um so we ordered that thought it all went fine and then we were like waiting outside we were waiting outside for like half an hour and we thought okay i know you like we know it was halloween it's gonna be a bit busy but we didn't really expect to be waiting that long so we decided to ring them up um, we were in a queue of like 10 people though but we were like no stick at it keep ringing them so we finally got through and they said that it didn't actually work the like taxi order didn't work because um, the card got declined and you know they didn't bother ringing us up and being like oh hey by the way your card's been declined did you still want to order the taxi they didn't bother doing that so yeah we were waiting for like an hour for the taxi and then then they said oh we can order you another one but we have an hour wait and by this point it was like maybe like half 11 and we were just like so done with it um so yeah not impressed by that at all um so we we're kind of like oh no don't worry like we'll find another way in um because we weren't about to wait an hour for the taxi um so one of our friends mum actually very kindly came and got us um who we were, we were like meeting there anyway um so that was lovely so we got there in the end but yeah that was my halloween what did you do for your Halloween? I'd love to know. So my camera stopped recording, which is great, but all I did is literally just apply um, some mascara. I just used the L'Oreal um, Miss Hippie Mascara, which you've seen me do a thousand times, so that's okay. But I'm finished with my eyes now. I actually really like how it turned out. Um, I've never done like a yellow 
all yellow eye before but I really like it I've been seeing it around a lot recently um, and I always thought it looked really cool but I didn't know if I could pull it off but I think it looks pretty cool I don't know okay now it's time for the lips um I don't really know what to use okay I think I want something like brownie tone maybe um, but I don't want it a gloss and I literally only own glosses. I think we'll just have to go with Velvet Teddy from MAC because that's the most brown toned lip product that I owned. Owned? Own. Anyway, this is the finished look. So this is the end of this video. That was really awkward. Why did I, I don't know why I ended that video so awkwardly. Oh, I think I've come to the conclusion I'm not very good at these chatty videos because I don't really talk a lot or I talk too much about stuff that no one cares about but it's just the stuff that's on my mind. Um, if you like this video give it a thumbs up if anybody liked this video. Um, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and I hope you're having a lovely week and I'll see you in my next video. Bye guys!